Welcome, welcome. I'm your host, Michael Crawley, and you're listening to the OSHA Oops Podcast, brought to you by God Safety. Ah, my gosh, it's the scary table saw today, people. This is Michael and Rick. We're coming from God Safety, the great OSHA Oops channel. We're very excited today. We've got a hot one for you today. We're talking about the dreaded, the loathed, but necessary table saw. My heaven's sakes, the table saws the day come with so many wonderful features and stuff. This company got cited some buku dollars for not having their table saw up to order. Now, let me just tell you, anytime I talk to an old carpenter or somebody that's been doing a lot of work in this area, Rick, wouldn't you agree that they always tell me the first thing you do with the table saw is you take off all the guards? <laughs> My gosh, I've heard that statement so many times. They do look like this when they raise their hand, though, every time. I'm always Rick, tell us what this company got cited when it came to the table saw in their facility. All right, so this is a serious violation. We're talking about Title 8, Code 4300. 4300. This is uh, the hood guard or other guard shall be designed as to prevent a kickback or a separate attachment that will prevent a kickback shall be provided. And the kickback devices shall be designed to be effective for all thickness of material. Thickness of material, you got to have your kickbacks. I know you guys like to take these things off. I don't know why, Rick. Why do they always want to take off the hood and the anti-kickback device on the, on the table saw? It's got to make the work easier. I mean, it's it, it, provided you don't wind up getting injured, it, it's got to be less restrictive, and it, it's, it's just be. making their, their work easier. Uh, you know, the table saw is a tough one. I have this guy that lives down the street for me, and he just got his tip of his finger cut off on the table saw. And me and he were talking about this the other day. I see so many times that these table saws, there's no guard on it, and they don't have a kickback. In this case, what did the client get cited for, Rick? This was uh, $3,035. $3,035 because they don't have an anti-kickback device on it. Now, there are other uh, table saws out there, like the stop saw I know you've heard of, that have these meters that stop people from getting their cutoffs. Let me just tell you, the stop saw, I just want to bring up real quick and tell you that the OSHA code does not recognize their patented guard technology that stops the blade before supposedly it cuts off your finger. Okay, they don't, they don't recognize that as, as one of the proper guards. So if you have a stop saw in your facility and you say, well, I don't need guards on this. It's a stop saw and it won't cut off my finger anyways. You'll need the hood guard, the anti-kickback, because obviously that thing doesn't stop kickbacks. You know, that... that uh, Static stop. electricity guard, which I am not a big fan of. I, I, I know it works, and I know you guys are probably making a lot of comments that it's great. I look at it and go, I, I have a tendency to believe it makes people a little weak because I've never seen anybody test it with their finger. I've seen the hot dog test, okay? I God bless you on the hot dog test. But when you are testing it with your finger and you're going to man up and put your finger on the line in real world, not just like barely touch it, but you're going to ram your fingers in there like it normally would if something slips through, then I'll be interested in seeing the stuff. All right, then I'll be interested. But until then, you got to guard these things. Don't be that manly. Leave your guards on the table and don't get caught in a pickle. Rick, what are you thinking about this? That's absolutely right. If you want to avoid these fines or more importantly, avoid injuries, you got to keep that safety equipment on, on the, the machines. Let me tell you, we have a lot of safety pickles out there. If you want to know what it is or you want one, let us know. Email us, call us. We will send you the greatest safety pickle in the world. Once again, this is Mike and Rick from Osha Oops, and we will see on the next one. To learn more about safety services we provide, head over to GodSafety.com and check us out. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. And remember, stay safe out there.